And I, I turned her down twice. If you read those damn emails, I turned her down twice. I, I'm not coming. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. it it's, uh, it's too much for me to do. Yeah. And I, and I really and I really felt that way. But I was I was trying to. She was so searching you now again. That's that. <laughs> See that that's that's total bullshit for him to say that. Um, he might have just been reluctant to show up because he was worried to get caught, or maybe it was a scheduling issue. But um, him not coming two times before it doesn't, once again, it doesn't mean that he wouldn't have done what he was going to do when he got there. And this, this is the part that bothers me, is like that, that, that provoking to, to get me to do something. I'm, without that provoking, I would have, it should have backed off if it had been backed <laughs> the, off. The provoking is the point. That's the point of a sting. Right, like you, you have to, you have to represent yourself as something that you're not in order to to perform a sting on someone. Like a sting requires uh, some kind of like setup, basically. Like, like it's 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 you're creating a scenario for people that is not it's not reality. Like the scenario is is not what it seems. So, um, yeah. I would not even even thought about. It. Yeah, but she must have really needed you for you. No, to, not for she. Her whoever to... it is. Let's just let's, let's make it <laughs> right. But what you thought? <laughs> and, 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 and he licks his lips. This guy gets worked up at that point. You know, he, he starts gesturing wildly with his with his hands. So he's waving his hands around. Um, needed you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and absolutely. his tongue is just fucking flicking all around his mustache. And, and you know what? I and I gotta go back to that in relationship to the police department, the criminal justice. You gotta watch out how far you take that, because there are people who do care about other people, and I'm, I'm, I'm good. You good Samaritan, off this thing. All, I, you good Samaritan, Jim Roush. <coughs> I, I wasn't gonna hurt that kid. And I don't think you were. I, I wasn't. I, 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 no, there's no question. Yeah, about, yeah. He was. He would have traumatized if that was a real girl. They would have been uh, immeasurably traumatized. So. This guy was absolutely out to hurt someone. I honestly think you were not going to hurt <clears throat> Cheyenne or whoever you thought you were going to meet tonight. You're... Joe, I know <laughs> you're not going to hurt her. Yeah. Right? That detective, he, he, the detective literally... Okay, that was very well done on the detective's end. Um, so there's no reason for the detective to believe that Jim wasn't going to have sex with the decoy. But the detective already sees that Jim is playing the game. J Jim Jim is trying to get them to like him. And the detectives are, are, are perceptive. There's a reason that um, the people who interrogate suspects um, do that. You know, they're chosen for specific reasons. And, uh, yeah, so this guy, um, the detective, is letting Jim know right now that he's on his side. So the detective wants Jim to think the detectives are on Jim's side, uh, thus encouraging him to talk, you know, to, to increase the likelihood that he's going to put his fucking foot in his fat mouth. I, 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 no, I wasn't. You, I, wasn't. You, I don't think you had any. I have more hurting. intention of hurting myself than I do. Hurt that's hurt. that's, that's nonsense to say. I mean, no, 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 it's not a, it's not a void. I, I, I don't want to make it a void. I got people I talk to some, some places. Okay. That's interesting that um, Jim said no there. I do that in my personal life. Sometimes, like, if a person is saying something, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase or I'll ask them. Um, I'll basically rephrase the question. I'll go, oh, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'll just rephrase it. Um, to see if, if it is the same thing. And if they if it is, then it's like, cool, I understand like the concept of what you're saying. Um, but, yeah, it, it's funny. So so Jim is like, no, 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 like that's not it. What I need, what I need. And he's licking his lips while doing it. To help people? To help people. Um, maybe, maybe that's closer to it than, than throwing a boy. You know? That's so bullshit. That's like when you're at a job interview and then someone says, uh, you're, you're, the person interviewing is like, what's your biggest weakness? And you're like, oh, I'm a perfectionist. Like, it, it's that cliche to drop that line. Because I do have people who have problems and, and, and I have own problems. But, I don't know. 
relationships relationships are hard and it sounds like yeah they are actually um, everyone knows that that's a truism making with her she was innocent you were innocent you were just trying to help her um and excellent we once again so it's like so i know captain reed is the female speaking she's the female detective i don't remember the the male's name but um Jim has been there in the room with them the entire time, so these detectives have had no way to coordinate with each other, but they're on the same page, and that's that that says a lot because they don't have to communicate directly to communicate to each other. So it's like when when the male detective is speaking, like Captain Reed is listening to what the male detective is saying, and even though um, he, the male detective may not be looking at Captain Reed, he's letting Captain Reed know the direction that that she needs to be. In order for them to to team up you know for them to be in sync so they're doing that and that's interesting um that, that they these the two detectives must know each other fairly well they must work together to have that kind of relationship with someone is it's cool it's cool that they can coordinate with each other without even um verbally without without using any kind of um direct communication with each other it just got out of hand. Got, got out. And Jim is not innocent. And it's also, I mean, she's just basically doing exactly what the what um what the male detective was doing. She's she's letting Jim know that she's on Jim's side. So both detectives have let Jim know that they're on Jim's side. I agree with you. Yeah. And it's he agrees. it's much easier to talk to a younger person because they're more open and <clears throat> understanding. Let's see. That's a trap. That's a trap right there. She wants him to say yes and to agree, and then that would open up the door of him doing this previously. And, uh, and again, this is the lesson I think that you need to learn. You're playing a role. Role playing chat room, dude. Or whoever does, whoever's doing. People play, play roles. Role of something that they're not. Yeah. And when they play that role, they've got all this stuff behind them, all this garbage, not garbage, it's not really garbage, it's really experience. Okay, they've got that behind them, and they're manipulating it all the way through it. What Good. the hell is he talking about? Experience and, and garbage? A person, or a, a, a good, successful... Who is, is doing this? A good officer can detective can, can, can remove that a little bit, so they can be innocent. To okay, so what Jim is saying is that um, the detectives might be jaded because they they it's like it's like they deal with so many scumbags on a daily basis that they just assume the worst in people. So because the detectives. Um, are exposed to so many scumbags they are jaded as fuck and jim's innocent encounters seem sinister just because they're fucking jaded which actually is is it's not a clever defense but it is a creative defense uh i don't i don't think that any other predator has ever said that he might be the only one and he just came up with it so i guess i could see why he why he does this this strategy but <laughs> i he still fucked himself too bring that in but the, the return on that the return on it. is the person from the outside who comes in i mean what is what they that, that doesn't even make sense what he's talking about is just fucking nonsense don't see it as that person who has 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 all that control all that control he means experience and therefore Relax. Relax. Give up. Give up. Levels of, 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 of intensity that they might not have if they were talking to an adult. What the hell is he talking? This guy's not... I mean, it's so... It, it's so fragmented. Fuck. And the, the way that he's looking right there with his fucking eyes, just like, uh, you know, you can see the whites of his eyes. You know, there's just nothing there. It's just, there, there's no substance. It's like his words are just like a phantasm. You know, there, there's a vapor, but there's nothing under it. You know, there's just clouds. And therefore, because of relaxing that intensity. Relaxing intensity? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Maybe some things out that need to get out. But also, go up, in my case, go over, overboard. And, and expect that person who's on the other side 
who who is intelligent enough and has the experience enough to really understand what's going on there makes a critical judgment instead of an emotional ju uh, judgment on what's happened to a person like me. Yeah, and, and the, the, the critical judgment, looking at the facts, would just be uh, you showed up to solicit a minor. That's that's the facts of the case. Now, the only people who would be inclined to defend Jim would be those who might, on an emotional level, have some investment in him. You know, they're like, oh, uh, Jim Jim is, is uh, my boyfriend, or oh, you know, Jim is my fucking cousin, so therefore it, it's a setup, or he was unfairly targeted. But the only people who would support him would be um, people who had an emotional investment in him. I don't know if that makes sense, but... It does make sense. Do what you have to do. I don't. I don't want to. And he keeps repeating that, like, like he has, like, he has some control. He has zero control. The detectives are okay with him having the illusion of control, but they're only okay with that because it, it, uh, it encourages him to talk. It's gonna. It's either gonna crush my life or it's gonna. Where we're gonna, we're gonna go? I think by getting involved, they, they crushed his life. I think. At least you're making a step somewhere. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to get. I'm not trying to get some damn thirteen-year-old in my bed. I, I, that's not it. Yes, he was. Oh, yes, if he I did. If I get somebody in my bed, I go to the swingers club. I go to the date people I date, which are, there, are, there are three or four that I normally date. And, oh, this guy's got a rotation. That. Not, that's not. I, I mean, that's he's not, got. He's got I'm his bitches. He's got bitches in his that, rotation. That, that, in that ball game. I don't like even young women. I, there's a little problem with that. There's a, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's like young guy, little guys. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Put them over there. That's, that's not your thing. <laughs> okay. It really is. That's not your thing. But, but it's not, but, but beyond my not my thing, it's, I don't, there are people out there who do. Like, like you. It's not me. You're, yeah. you're, and I'm really serious. You know, and, and, and there's no reason for anyone to to believe what he's saying. I mean, he, he's just declaring that, he, that that he's not a predator, and he's giving no reason other than um, other than 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 these these kind of like like quasi testaments to his good character, or 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 how he's like a really good guy who wants to help people. I thought that was you. I wouldn't waste my time here with. Yeah, they would. Because I've I felt that way. I say, you know what. Just like that, throw you away, and okay. I'll go work it. Okay. I mean, that's just, it's a straight up lie from the detective, but it's, it's so amazing because Jim was convicted. He, Jim, 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 I believe, pled guilty, um, and, and he was convicted. And it's so great that he, he gave up his right to an attorney, you know, they must have Mirandized him. They didn't show the Miranda, um, he, he wasn't read his Miranda rights in this clip, but he must have been read his Miranda rights at some point. So it's like he waved his fucking right to an attorney and then um, hung himself. And then, of course, yeah, the detectives are, they want to talk to you because they want to build, um, they, they want as much evidence against you to build the strongest case that they get. Let me give you another indication. I taught music for 31 years. That's so disturbing. I have never been arrested in that 31 years for any kind of child molestation. Or Which doesn't mean that he didn't do it, it just means he didn't get caught. In the 31 years, I've seen many, many kids go through the through my system, and through the system that I work, it's the wrong ballgame. That's creepy. Why do you say it through my system? I've seen plenty of kids go through my system. What the fuck system is he talking about? You were a fucking high school teacher. You didn't have a system. Like, these kids probably had... You probably didn't even know them. You just had, like, uh, a bunch of, like, 30-some strangers for 45 minutes a day. So when you were online chatting and you felt that... And this guy thinks he's funny. So when he was a teacher, I mean, it must have sucked for those fucking kids. Like, he must have told the fucking most lame jokes and, like, laughed at himself and, like, expected other people to laugh. This guy must have been a fucking insufferable prick to sit through. You were... You felt like you were talking to somebody who possibly did understand and probably had some experiences... You felt like you could let go, right? You know, it's funny uh, to put it in perspective over the last couple weeks, which China has been involved. I did not feel that way until overnight. 
And I don't know what made that difference. Nothing. I have no idea what made that difference. Nothing. But I felt like, like maybe maybe it's a movement on the part of the people, whoever did it, to, 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 to kind of motivate me to go that direction. Um, no, I really was very, very cautious of not letting the, any information out, not, not, a, not, not even my emotions until tonight. tonight. Tonight you felt, you know, that you could be I guess I was looking free. I just looked, I was just looked down. I, did, I was, uh, I was, I was tired of playing games and, and doing well, things and just backed off and just, okay, you want to, you want to talk, you want to get together, here's my phone number, give me a call, I'll do it. That's just admitting it's, guilt. It's, 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 it's and right you let, your, you let but, your guard down. I let my guard, let down. guard down. Let your guard down. I let my down. guard down only because of the fact that I had my guard up for weeks. Yeah. And, 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 and only... What the fuck do these detectives care about this guy's emotional guard? Like, like, like the, the, the thick wall around Jim's heart. No one gives a fuck about, about that. They're only interested in the decoy. And, and, and through that guard that I had... Through Jim's rough exterior. I thought maybe she needs some help. The heart of gold maybe inside. Maybe she needed to talk to somebody. Maybe she was moving in a direction that she that I could help her in some way. Really, that's the honest answer. And what did you want to talk to her about? I mean, I mean regards to. to talk I, I want I wanted to open up those those channels. I don't I don't know where she was yeah. in that regard. <laughs> open I up channels. Open it up so she could talk to me. Uh, and she, in, 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 in the past, she was, she was guarded too. And she... They didn't talk about any that. emotional shit. You talked about a lot of things. You said you talked about, you know, different things. You know, <laughs> different um, things. Do you... How was it you guys talk about... I know you said you let your guard down. You there we go. Down. See, the, these How detectives are... Talk about sexual things? They're fucking great. Uh, not, nothing I'm doing mine. That I'm, that I'm aware of. That you're aware? I don't remember you're aware of. the connotation of the. Uh, if it was, if it, if it was, it was like really off the wall. Off the wall. Okay, so so he went no, and then I don't remember, and then if if I did, then it was off the wall. Like I guess he was just like he was just kidding. <laughs> it, it it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like as 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 as, as straightforward as it was. At the time. So what do you get there straight? Kind of off the wall, just. Something that you remember oh, talking about? I don't, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't, don't remember specifically. Like just show. Like what is that? That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, off the wall. You just off the wall things, maybe about getting a blow job or anything like that, or, well, or yeah. talking about uh, how what kind of relationship she have she with she have with her boyfriend. Okay. I mean, Do you guys go deeper than that? Did he ever touch you? About that, that's about it. That's about the extent of it. That's that's about the bottom of it. Really. Uh, I mean, did she ever talk to you about going deeper than that? I mean, any? Not until tonight. Okay. And, 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 I don't know. I'm sure she. Uh, but really it doesn't matter. Not about. until tonight. What does it matter? The detectives aren't asking you when. They're asking if. So I mean, he, his answer is yes. But it's like, even though in, instead of just saying yes, he'll say not until tonight, which means yes. But it starts off this the response by saying not. So it's I mean, I guess that is 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 almost a clever it's I mean it's still incriminating because he's still admitting it. He, although indirectly he's admitting, but um it's it's almost clever of him to do. And he laughs yeah, like it's a joke. It just kind of seemed like everything. I don't I don't know what it was about tonight. Had to, um I don't know what, what provoked that. Uh, maybe it's just a, a commonality or or a, just a talking over a period of time, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which is probably about a lot of it. Kind of culminated and over a couple No, of it wasn't a culmination. It was more. It, that's it was the second more... time that Jim has been like, no, like that's. So the first the mail deck tried, now Captain Reed tried it, and like once again he was like, no. Of a, of a, of a, of a, um... It's like, what are, what are you saying? 
just a just a uh, uh, a relaxed nature between two people. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, 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 I said it doesn't. It wasn't a culmination of things. It was more of a of a of a relaxed nature of letting your guard down. Understand each other. Was that that? I. I so you felt like you were on the same page. Uh, yeah, I, I, and, and yeah, yeah. That that that, that we could talk. A criminal about page. And you were, yeah, you, you could were, talk about yeah, crimes. I, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. I, I think it became it be, for some reason it became more open tonight than ever before. Because you were horny. And um, for some reason, for some mysterious, unexplained, inexplicable reason. But. Again, I jump on you guys for that. I jump on you for that because because that that. Now what a what, prick what for saying that! Needed. How dare Jim say that he jumps on them for that? Whether it was Cheyenne or Joe Blow, I needed somebody to talk to, and and instead of somebody to talk to, I ended up with with investigations. With <laughs> investigations. Well, I, I understand. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't criticize you for it. Don't understand. Don't misunderstand. I understand. I. I. I it's, it's. It's a. It's a real social, and it's a real social problem. I don't know how often. Off. Do you do this every night? No. 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 This is. They all know you're a special case, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. like it's not every night that some fucking retard shows up to uh, solicit a minor. Uh, that's funny. I bet you the detectives are like, oh shit, like they were probably caught off guard by that. And it's interesting that he's asking about them. So he's changing the subject. Um, and that's just a clever, it's like, anytime um, Sam Hyatt has a fucking hell of funny video on debt, but he says something that's, that's really truthful. He says, the longer you keep someone listening to your story, the better it's going to be for you. And that's so true. Um, it's like, I think... Oftentimes, when you're when you're trying to to persuade someone to do something, it's like the more that that you talk to them, the more about your story that they know. Um, some most of the time, not all the time, of course, but most of the time, the more likely they are to, to do what you what you're trying to get them to do, what you're trying to request them to do. But um, yeah, so it's interesting. Like I said before, we're just trying to get at what happened tonight and what's been happening. And, you know, I understand that you, you've had a rough time. Mm -hmm. you, you, you needed to talk to somebody. Yes. You could have you could have went out with two women or three women the other night. Fifteen. 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 Right, right. Right. Last, the other night, yeah. two nights up there. See, so this guy's acting like he's a stud. Make you feel good. Kind of let you... It, let sol you. it solved a problem. It, 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 but it didn't solve a problem in terms of I didn't do anything except a cop. Yeah. And <clears throat> when you and then tonight was just a culmination of you know you, you felt like you know hey maybe you know maybe I need to see her maybe she can actually I can open up I can open up to her. And it's like, and that's exactly and that is really essentially it. Uh, I, and I and and I, you know, did it would it come to in some sexual thing? Uh, I'm not going to say it wouldn't, but I'm I'm in the other side other side of me, which oh is, shit, it it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have, it it, it <laughs> I can't believe your phone's ringing. <laughs> it, okay, but uh, uh, before the phone, so when he's talking about, so that's interesting. Um, that I I think at some point he ends up incriminating himself, um, saying something about some sexual shit, but let's see if he does it right now. It would, not have, it would never reach that point because of the person I am. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I would I would never take advantage of her. If you go back on those and you'll see it, how many times I ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure? And the reason why is because... Interesting that there's also a phone in that room. Um, the read technique is usually done in a windowless... Um, room without really too much like uh you know the detectives will have their shit right but um yeah so that's interesting that there's even a phone i wonder where they're interrogating him i didn't want to hurt her 
Or if the interrogation room has a phone. It might so they can communicate with people on the outside of the room. I really, this young thing, I don't think it, him, you did not, I know you didn't lie. No. And you, and you went there tonight to see her, to help her out, you know, and James could have, you know, but you, but you would, I don't think if anything would have happened, and I'm talking anything, you <laughs> anything. would have never heard her. I know, Jim, I know that. I he might not have, um, you know, who's to say? I mean, he certainly might have. I think that he probably would have, but he might not have physically attacked her. He might not even have physically forced himself on her. But nonetheless, even the quote-unquote consensual sex with the uh, decoy is a fucking crime. So that doesn't matter. You, you would and they be can't consent something. because That's they're a minor. Not you. But, you know, you know, you know, you were there for her. You were trying to be there for her. And you came here for that reason, to be there for her tonight. And, and, I, and let's, 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 let's be realistic about that, too. Yeah. I, I came here to be for her, possibly sexually, too. Yeah. And right there, and that's the line. So, let's see that one more time. Are you sure? And the reason why is because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to... She was young, supposedly. She was young, and I did not want to do that. I, I really, this young thing. Oh, did I fuck it up? I, I might have fucked it, it up. Jim, you did not. I know you didn't want to hurt her. No. And you, and you went there tonight. Either way, what he said right there um, was extremely to say, and he was going to be there, possibly sexual too, is extremely incriminating. Um, that that alone raises the specter that he would have done it. So that's the first time that he's just outright said that that he might have done it. And even to say you might have done it might be enough to get you convicted. Uh, you know, the, the the prosecution is gonna say that that you were going to do it. So that's not gonna look good, man. To help her out, you know, and James could have, you know, but you but you would. I don't think if anything would have happened. And I'm talking anything. <laughs> you would have never have heard her. I, I, Jim, I know that's a lie. Okay, so we're going to see it here in a sec. Yeah. That's I just went you. back too far. But, you know, you know, you know, you were there for her. You were going to try to be there for her. And you came here for that reason. To be there for her tonight. And, and, I, and let's, 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 let's be realistic about that, too. Yeah. I, I here came here to be for her possibly sexually, too. Yeah. And, 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 and I, but I don't know if I could ever have done that. I, I don't think I could ever done I mean, I, I'm serious. I have. I mean, I he went, said that they possibly sexual. So like that alone. Is one of the swingers club. So I'm staying. I have gone there twice yeah. and I've walked away because no, that's not what me, what I want. I, I, I want to go to some place and meet somebody who really, really needs what I am, not my he, dick, you know? He wants yeah, to and then call, calling calling a, a purported 13-year-old on the phone and talking about fucking him is, is, is definitely that, right? He wants Jim. That's the kind of qualitative uh, romance that, that Jim is looking for. Yeah. And, and, Who wants and Jim for Jim? She likes Jim for Jim. It's like that fucking uh, 90s song, she likes me for me. She likes Jim for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we can go into personal some yeah. details on that, but but there are people. Oh, that's fucking scary. There are people in my. In my that's life. so fucking spooky. That's the Who, eeriest shit. And he, and he does that weird look to, to just give up everything I have and just go with them. But I won't do it. No, Jim's got bitches and on his dick. There are people on the inside who, 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 who need every bit of me, and I can't give, I can't give them that because I got this other person who really needs. Because I got bitches on my dick. Me, who doesn't? Who won't say the thing? This guy's ridiculous. Sound, okay. Sounds like there's a lot of relationship issues going on oh, for you right now. Oh, absolutely. I have no, no question about it. Yeah. 
I can be specific about it. You want specifics or you want to talk about legalities? Legalities. My girlfriend? What is he talked about? Okay, to say you want specifics or, like, as in, in a separate category, or do you want to talk about legality? And, and like, what, I don't even know legality. Like, what does that mean? The, the legality is going to depend on the specifics of the situation. So the two aren't, aren't exclusive. Who? won't get married, who doesn't want to see me, except for on the weekends when she wants to get fucked. Okay. Oh, that's so gross to imagine this guy doing that. Who would just, who would just, would, would love for me to just move in with her. I can't move in with her because she, she's, she's not going anywhere. She's just not. And that's actually really sad because I feel like that's often the way that it is. It's like we want as people um as human beings like we just want what we can't have so if something is out of reach it's like um there's a philosopher Slavoj Žižek and he used this is off topic I don't give a fuck um but he was talking about this scenario um like like a male chauvinist scenario where there's a guy and he has a wife and a mistress and it's like the situation that he the situation that works best for him is when he has both is when he has the wife and the mistress um and if he left his wife to be with the mistress things would fall apart you know this this young woman it's like if the guy was 40 something and their relationship was only one that was based off of sex like it would things would quickly dissolve so um things are more complex than than we think and we want different things than we actually think that we want i want I want this one to come around and she never will. So what I do, juggle phone calls on those two. Then we add in the other emotions of, you know, okay, so I can't satisfy any of the one or two. I know you. <laughs> I can see you're gone on this. You have no clue what I'm talking about. You have no clue. <laughs> no one has any clue what he's talking about. I mean, this guy's just like talking out of his ass. But, there, but this, all, this is all going on. I mean, the detectives are doing a pretty good job of keeping up, though. Yeah, these are your feelings. Well, no, they're, they're beyond my feelings. So they're, they're people who, who affect my feelings. And they're that doesn't make who, sense. Who, I can get down on my knees and say, stop this shit. <laughs> what the fuck? And, <laughs> And they would take, you know, so eventually. And what, what, what would he have them stop? Like, what would these people stop to get down if he needs to say stop that shit? Like, what are they stopping? Uh, just, just, just like, like needing him or, or being in his life? They all die and everybody else will go on. And You'll die. Tonight, this is, I, I, as I said, I don't care. I don't want to be involved in a whole bunch of legal shit. You're involved, buddy. Before, not, not major, but, but yeah. yeah, I don't. I know what's like. I know what this shit is like. And uh, what do you want to be there for tonight? I wanted to help somebody out. I wanted. I wanted somebody. She, her mother was not around. Her father was not around, and she didn't know what to do. And she had I mean, emo emotional feelings. Sexual feelings. Mm -hmm. She had a multitude of feelings. Right. And there were no feelings discussed. The, sh the the chat was shallow as fuck. Like it's not like this guy had this like he's speaking to the detectives as if he had as if he had this like this like layered relationship with this with this person with this the, this person that he knew in real life presumably. But that's not the case. He he fucking talked to a decoy online for a while. I answer some of those by my dialogue. Like, yeah. There's no emotional yeah. release and other bullshit. Back you know, but right now we're talking about it, and that's the main point. I mean, you could you could come in there and say that you know. <clears throat> I still I still feel sabotaged. Sabotaged. Set up. I'm not, to, I'm not trying to sabotage. But I feel sabotaged. Yeah. Because 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 of the fact that is I'm. I'm it's also, as an interesting side note, whenever, if someone says they feel something, it's like, it's pointless to argue with them. Like, you can't argue with the way that a person feels. If someone says, I feel this way, you, I mean, you could try, but if they feel a certain way, they just feel that way, and it might not be rational. I'm not out there fucking the 13-year-olds and, and, and uh, getting them drunk. And, and he probably was. As we he certainly do. wanted to tonight, that night. I'm not doing that. And I, and I don't have a desire to do that. He did have a desire to do that. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. But you, but you felt a connection to I like the, the cop talking to Stephen Coates. Oh, yes, he did. 
I, I deny, oh, yes, deny did. Oh, she did. And, and she needed you. And you. Uh, and I needed her in some sense. And I needed to be able to. Let yourself go. No, no, no. I needed to. I needed to there's help a, her. There's a needy. There's a needy. To thing. help her. I needed to, to. I needed to fulfill a need of somebody. He needs to fulfill and a I've need. I've always done it all, all my life. I got to go back to history with, the, with, the, with, the, with the, my school. And it's always it's always that trying to find some way to help some kids, and I really felt that I really felt that need. I'm, and I'm not, it's not bullshit. It's just the way I feel. That's bullshit. I mean, if that's the way you feel, I, I mean, I don't think that's bullshit. Well, I know, but on the on, on outside of it, it, people look at it. They, they, don't, they don't see it. But you have feelings. I mean, you'd be inhuman if you didn't have feelings. <laughs> And tonight was about feelings. <laughs> it's about feelings. No, it's about no, fucking no, not feelings. feelings. And tonight was about you trying to help someone who you felt you needed. Help them is, is the key word there. Yeah. Yeah. And help them with what? I wanted to be. Them. I wanted to be able after the discussion of the of the we talked about if it's if it's sexual or whatever it happens to be. I wanted to 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 yeah you know, share that. This is how I would see it. What do you need? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense at all. This is how I would see it. What do you need? So he talked to her about sexual shit to let her know how he would see it, and then asked her if she had any needs that he could fulfill. That makes no fucking sense. Like, logically. Where, 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 where do we go from there? What, where do we what, go? It's a pile of now, nonsense. You go nowhere. Change with you. You meaningless words. Yeah, enough, enough, enough labor. Do, do what you have to do. See, he's like giving up. He's like trying to build this tower of lies, and eventually he's like, "I'll oh, fuck this." You know, Jim. Um, you've said several times that you know you feel sabotaged. Mm -hmm. We're not here to make life harder for you. I mean, you're in the situation that you're in, and right now we have an opportunity to talk through things. Opportunity. get you in a better situation so that you don't... So she's using language like opportunity and better, so that's going to be very enticing to this dumb motherfucker. Don't feel sabotaged. Okay, in, 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 that, re in that relationship, in that, in that perspective, How do I deal? I'm going to be online. Unless you guys chop off my arms and take me down the line. Um, this is not the Middle East, dude, don't worry. And deal with that. And not only not only will the state take your job, but they'll take your freedom away, I see too. somebody who does have a need. Um, I, don't, I don't mean searching out. I'm not talking... I'm somebody, I am, that's a hell If he sees someone with the need, will he get down on his knees and say, Stop this shit. I never, never have gone to somebody on the internet who hasn't responded to me. How what the fuck? That, how are that plays a perspective and how you deal with the job that you do? For me... Once they respond to me, then 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 I have I don't know obligation. I don't, I don't, I don't, but but I but I I need to I, do I need to answer them or do I shut it off? And and that is real. That is really hard for me. Yeah. That is really hard. When somebody said hi after I said hi to them. <laughs> I mean, just that symbol. Just that I mean, that's symbol. fucking... Any, any time a female is online, I mean, the reality of the situation is that, um, you know, it's, it's not like there are no women online. Back then, especially, I think more, more, more people in general are online. But it's like, if you were a female in a chat room, you would be barraged with uh, requests to chat. And like, like, you would get e immediately, you would just get bombarded with all kinds of fucking uh, dudes trying to, trying to sex. And uh, for this guy to make it seem like uh, like like he was looking out for someone who was lonely, it's like the reality of the situation was so fucking different. Like he must have been actively trying to 
keep the decoy hooked. He he thought that he had to keep the decoy interested, because uh, if 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 there is any person identifying to be a female online, chances are they're gonna get solicited for fucking and pics and all all kinds of other crazy bullshit, especially in a chat room. If I if I don't respond to them, it says, oh, well, he doesn't care. It's like the thirty seven thousand other people don't care. You know? Yeah, if it's just some fucking idiot online, like no shit, dude. Like, like you can't just stop and 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 fucking lose like lose sleep over someone online. And I, and, and I and I and I and I have a real hey, like Dan Allen said, it's all cyberspace. Because if somebody responds to me, I always respond to them. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, okay, I'm Do do what what do we do? If you could talk more about um, the information that you exchanged with Cheyenne as far as pictures or I never sh chat. I, I did have my, my webcam and my webcam has, has been both with, uh, been both uh, 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 visuals, I mean, obviously seeing me, uh, facially, uh, genitalia. Genitalia. <laughs> It just throws it in there How casually. Times, you say? Um, I would say maybe one or two times that she has accepted to see me. Accepted. And that was on Yahoo. And what does that mean for a person who accepts to see you online? It's like any time, like she continued to talk to you in spite of it, I guess. If that's if that defines accept, but um, you know, you just send shit online and the person just receives it. They, I mean, uh, unless unless he sent a file and that she like the decoy specifically had to like open the file. Uh, but e either way, like the decoy can't legally consent because they're minors. So that doesn't matter. There's no there's no real consent there. It was on Yahoo, and it was her. I, ne I, I never. I and now never he's referring to Cheyenne as as a human again. Have have uh, to accept it, um, uh, but not it, it's not always being genitalia, but that, <laughs> it's every time it's a dick pic. Genitalia, so there's multi yeah. multitude of different. Base yeah. genitalia, but whatever. That, but that's only uh, and again, only because of the fact that that's the way I was at that point. Uh, not not that I was, no. Okay, shiny is going to be on, so let's put it on my dick. No, it was never that. It was a, it was there. I just click on webcams available. She accepted it. She accepted, accepted it. it. In most cases, and, and she didn't always accept it either. Mm -hmm. okay. No, was this in response to the conversation? I wonder what, what she, she's like, Jim, not today. I don't want to see your wrinkly, fucking gross, disgusting ball sack today. No, no, there was, no, no. There was, there was usually no conversation in relationship to that. No, no, no conversation. No, nothing. Uh, is, is this an adult cam? No, no, not even, even that. This cam is available. If you want, you can see it. If you don't, when when you sent that, but that's okay. Okay, again, but in relationship to other people other than than Cheyenne, that was that was common practice, common practice for me. What, what did you hope when if somebody it, wanted to look at it they could they could they could look at it decline and look at it stop go on do their own thing. So, I, that, that was my so that was so my, what he, he's considerate because he doesn't force people to look at his fucking ball sack yeah and that was my that was what i expected them to do if they didn't want to see it they didn't do it if they did see it and they didn't even look at it, they could click on. So you sent it as something as if she wanted to view it, she could view it. If she didn't, she didn't want to view it. Exactly. And I, 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 I would have done that with. I would have done that beyond, beyond Cheyenne. The way all of the. Uh,